Okay, Colin, next one. Yes, I've got Chris with another question for James. James, uh, what was the straw that broke the camel's back with Conor March? <laughs> oh, that's a great question. Someone's, oh, someone's, going, someone's going for the prize. Uh, um. <laughs> I think we'll just stop this now. Congratulations. <laughs> Did you not read the statement? <laughs> the family statement. Anyway. Um, <laughs> look, er, er, everyone, when, when I became manager, let, let's, let's go all general on this, right? Because it's safer. No, 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 no. No, no. Answer the question. Er, everyone, uh, er, you know, we, we had a team in there, and, and, and everyone was expected. And, and but I Conor suppose, Mortimer specifically, James. I'm getting to it. <laughs> How long is the show left? I can, I, can, I can run it down, you know. But, uh, but, but basically, look, there was a team, and we were, trying to, we were trying to go a certain way and do a certain thing. And um, it was difficult for some players and some people. No question about it. You know, the few players, few players were dropped off the panel. A um, few players were brought onto the panel. A um, few players that were starters were, were, were not starters anymore. And we were, we were trying to get something, something great going, which we did. And, and uh, Con- Connor decided that um, he wanted to leave the panel. You know, you know and um, that was it. Oh, okay. It's well, as simple it, as that. Well, no, it's not as simple as it that. Is but, as no, no. That. Well, I, okay. It well, is, I, I, no, but I'll ask you a question. Trust me, it is. Did you? Did you? My impression of looking at looking on that from the outside is you had your mind made up on Conor Mortimer before you got in there, and you wanted to change the perception of Mayo because he had no, a few. No, no, he no, had no. a few good games during the league that year, James, and then the next day he's dropped off the team. So you know what I mean? That happened to me before when a ma- when I knew a manager didn't really fancy me. Do you know what I mean? So you can see. I can't imagine why you wouldn't fancy. <laughs> Don't, don't, don't try to turn this around on me. I'm going to go after you now. <laughs> don't you get him started in Mikko's wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mikko, Mikko was a great manager, though. Yeah, well, fairness, to, he was. Do you, get what, do, you, do you get what I'm saying, though? Yeah, that's not the case. That's not. You're, you're, you're right about a lot of things, Willie, but, but you're not right about that one. No, I'm Every, just showing it out yeah, there. Yeah, I'm not sure, saying I'm right sure. or wrong. Um, as I, I said, everyone in Connor played, played a couple of games and, and, and played well. And we were try, as I said, we were trying to improve. We were trying to change the way, the way I suppose... The way Mayo played, and, and, and what were the key fundamentals and principles of, of, of a team, and, and um, as, as I said, Connor, Connor um, decided that that he wasn't going to be part of the panel. Okay, he, did, he didn't work hard enough, maybe, for what you wanted. That no, it, was, it was it was Connor's decision. Okay, brilliant question, by the way. Go on, I love seeing James under that kind of pressure. Yeah. <laughs> Who's next, Connor? I shit them under pressure. I've got a question for everyone. If you were going to transfer one player from outside of Mayo. Into me, who would it be? Well, I'll just stop you there and say, keep those kind of questions for Hogan Stand message board. Next, <laughs> next question. <laughs> Good on you, Do it. Next, next question. All right, I've got David with a question for Colin Parkinson here. <laughs> I've been mad to ask this, Colin. So um, I heard your good mates with Stephen Cluxton. Uh, what's he really like? He's a bollocks. <laughs> No, no, honest to God, I'll tell you quickly about Stephen Cluxton. He is, he's, he's an odd sort of a character, and I found, found that out pretty quickly when I joined Parnells. Me and him got on well initially, but I soon realised we were getting on really well because I was making all the effort. And then one night I realised, OK, well, I'm, I'm going to stop making an effort, and we never spoke at all that night. So then the next night I didn't make an effort, and we never spoke. And I'm like, geez, he's a weird, he's a weird fella. Like, I have to actually do all the running with him. Like, you know yourself. He's hormonal. He's hormonal. <laughs> But I tell you, another, there's a myth about Stephen Cluxton in that he's this brilliant club man for Parnells and everything like this. And my experience with Cluxton was that he wasn't at all. We had a championship game against Kilmacoo Croaks um, when I was at Parnells. Ray, I think you could have been playing. And the week before, we had a challenge game. We played Kilmacoo on the Thursday, the week, the week before on the Friday. We had a, a really important challenge game just before a championship game. Cluxton went off playing five-a-side with his friends. They didn't even show up for the match. So, like, I mean, people don't even understand. Weird. He wanted to play in the forwards, and when he wasn't picked in the forwards, he got the hump and wouldn't show up. Like, he's a, he's a really odd character. That's all I'm saying. Maybe not a bollocks. He drinks blue wicket. He, actually, he drinks blue wicket. That's <laughs> <laughs> he does. <laughs> he drinks blue. If Dublin win the All Ireland, he'll be drinking blue wicket. If that's not motivation enough. <laughs> For Mayo. Anything else, Colin? Yes, I've got Joe 